Hello, everybody. My name is Puppeteer. And today, we are going to play a computer game. Kind of simulation game. Um, and it's called Kerbal Space Program, as you can see. And what you do is you build a rocket or an airplane. And pretty much you see if it flies. And you can go to like planets and stuff. And I've already built a rocket. I haven't tested it out yet. You're about to witness. Um, I think I've, I've flown it once. Or flown it once. But this is going to be the second time that I'm going to fly it. And uh, I mean it's more funny to see how it fails. And but this is my rocket. Um, I don't even think I have a name for it. It's just the Mach 2. But as you can see, um, as you can see at the bottom left, um, or I guess the left side, you see like these little uh, bars with numbers on them. Those are my steps. So it goes from, you know, the top number, which is, or the bottom number, which is 6, and it goes up to 0. Right now, my, uh, I'm running out of liquid fuel for the first, um, number six, I guess. That's the, it's like the steps, or I'm trying to think of the stages. That's what it is. And so, when I hit the space bar, it's going to go to stage five. And, um, uh, by the way, this is like orbital map, I guess, or view. And when I you see that little marker, that I'm gonna reach that, and that means I'm gonna be the farthest away from the Earth as possible. So I'm gonna wait until I get to that marker to go to stage four, pretty much, because stage five is just um, shooting the thrusters that are empty downwards or out. And we're gonna try to go to the Moon, or well, it's the Moon, but. They call it the Mun in this game. And uh, so I'm going to set the Mun as target. And now the ship, or the rocket ship, is going to um, turn itself towards the moon. Because we're going to fly, try to fly straight at it. The, the objective of this, um, there's no really objective of this game. I'm in sandbox mode. But what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to land somebody on the moon. And not just somebody. They're called Kerbins. As you can probably see at the bottom right, that is a Kerbin. They almost look like a minion. Um, except they're green. And it's almost about time for me to fire my rockets. By the way, you're probably wondering what, um, why there's like a piece of the screen missing, or there's probably something covering it, I don't know, right now it's missing for me, but, um, I was Skyping a friend at this time, and, uh, he didn't want to be in the video, and I respected that, so, um, that's why his face is not in the video. Um, so, I started stage four, as you probably saw, um, so now we're flying kind of towards the moon, or moon, I'm gonna call it the moon, because it's easier that way. So after this, if you can tell by the stages and the icons, there's only one more rocket besides the one that's firing right now. And the little line, blue line, that's getting bigger, that's pretty much going to show you or show me where the, uh, where my spacecraft is going to go, pretty much. And getting to the moon is not easy. I mean, it's, this game is like physics to the T. Like, it, t 
takes itself seriously. And by the way, if it, the um, graphics is kind of pixelated, the game's kind of like that. Like the game's kind of, I wouldn't say bad graphics. It's not the best graphics already. And so trying to record this game kind of makes it a lot worse. <laughs> um, this game doesn't really focus on graphics. It takes itself serious on physics and science. Which is pretty cool, I guess. So right now, as you can see by the blue ring, I'm going to orbit the Earth. I'm never going to come back down. So, what I want to try and do is I'm going to try to wait and for the moon to get to that little blue arrow or blue marker that I'm about to pass right now. Because that is the farthest way I'm going to be from the Earth. And the closest I'll be to the moon. And that little arrow right there is um, indicating that that's the closest I'm going to be to Earth. Or Kerbin. That's what the planet's called. In the game. Or Earth. That's what Earth is called in the game. And so this is one of my failed attempts. Um, that's, I think it's, I think it might be going back down, I'm not sure, but, I know, I see it's only going to orbit the Earth, and, I'm trying to think, okay, so this is the one that we need. Sorry if like I had to rush at the beginning of this video. I was trying to catch up to speed because this this um it will slow down. The video will slow down. Like it is kind of a waiting game, as you can tell. How I'm just rushing around the Earth when really it's taking a while. I really hope you guys like this game though um, I don't know something about this game is just really fascinating to me because um, I used to I used to take a class and it was I guess it was just RGC that's what the class was and towards the end we had to learn about rockets and stuff and build rockets and like we had to build it out of like two liters and stuff. It was like water rockets, pretty much. And I don't know. It was it was fun, but I didn't really understand it that well. Now that like I just pretty much copied everybody else. This one you can kind of copy people, but like they give you the parts. And you just put the parts together like Lego pieces, but they don't tell you what pieces to put on. You can do whatever you want, which is the fun about it, to see, because if you make it to the moon, with your rocket, you can be like, wow, and then I did, made it. So right now I'm just messing with this, uh, with the, I, I forgot what it's called, I'm messing with the orbit of another planet. Just waiting for her, the moon to just circle itself around. And I can't fast forward when it gets close to the earth like that. As you see, it slows down right there. Because it just, something about it doesn't like it. The funny thing is about this uh, spacecraft is I wasn't even planning to like land on the moon. I was just, I don't know, testing it out. Next thing I know, I'm trying to go for the moon. Um, but me and my friend, we were, we play this game at the same time usually. And we, uh, we joke up that I'm, you know, USA. And he's Russia. Because we were, like, 
first we were trying to get into space. And then he got into space and I, you know, failed attempts and I got into space finally. Which, to be honest, it's not that hard. It's just, like, you can build, like, a three-part rocket and without any fins, parachute, or anything, you know, pretty much make it to space. But, um, then our next quest was to get to the moon. But we just decided, hey, let's not go, you know, all out and try to land on the moon first. Let's just try to see if we can hit the moon, because it would seem impossible to even get close to the moon. So finally, he built a rocket. His first try, it failed. Second try, he he somehow managed to actually get to the moon and hit it. And so, that kind of inspired me, kind of. And so I built a rocket. I mean, I was building rockets already, but... I was trying to build one to get to the moon. I thought that'd be like the biggest rocket ever. And to be honest, it doesn't matter about size. That sounds kind of sexual, sorry. But, like, I don't know. Next thing I know, I hit the moon. And he kind of helped, like, telling me what to do, like, how to, like, when to thrust and all that. And I'm just realizing all these science terms or rocket terms sound sexual, sorry, um, but, right now, I'm gonna pretty much let go of my, uh, back, um, I forgot what to call now, I'm having brain farts, I'm, fil- I'm filming this, or recording this at like four in the morning, so I let go of stage th- three, or four, now I'm at my last rocket, so this is the last one that I have. There's no more. And, uh, so I'm kind of slowing down, you know, because you can check the orbit map, and now the circle got bigger, or you see the my orbit's getting bigger, and I'm trying to get it to the moon's orbit. That's why I'm trying to, I'm like right there on it. I think I'm a little bit over, but I'm close. And so, now the best thing to do, because I was just going to get to the moon's orbit, and pretty much just wait for the moon to hit me, but I was going to, you know, try to land on the moon, obviously. So, I think this is the fun part. This is the waiting game, essentially. Okay, so now, you see the purple, um, like oval pretty much that's going towards the moon and going out well that's like the earth's I think paralysis is the word and or I don't know it's it pretty much means that once I get to that um, orange line or orange spot the earth is going to pull me back in yeah once I get to there the earth is going to pull me back in but once I get to that blue circle at the end of that blue line, that, um, when I get to that point, that little orange circle next to it is where the moon was, moon is going to be. So right now, I'm, like, going to be super close to the moon. Like, I'm going to be able to pretty much, like, stick my arm out. Well, not really. Not that close. But I'm going to be right there by the moon. And... So, right now we're just going to be waiting, pretty much playing the wait game. I could fast forward it, but, you know, now I could talk to you. And I think I might fast forward a little bit, but, so this game's like 30 bucks, and it's a simulation game, and, like, I wish um, my teacher in RTC would have made us play this, because this is a lot more funner. It's a lot more fun, but, I don't know, you, you kind of learn stuff at the same time. It's a lot of trial and error, which I think is probably great um, for teaching. But, yeah, like, 
like something about this game just is addicting addicting and um but actually when I recorded this video um my friend he tried to get to the moon and he failed and he kind of has he kind of has anger management not really he just has anger problems which I guess he um he cusses oh yeah by the way I was excited right there I was freaking out because I was actually going to have a chance. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat was a little dry. Alrighty. Sorry about that. My mic cut out for a second. Right now, um, I'm pretty much playing the waiting game, kind of thinking things through. Um, so, as you see at that blue spot, the moon's going to be in that blue area slash orange area. And, um, yeah, so I'm pretty much going to only have one shot. And if I miss it, I'm going to fly back down to Earth. Not on purpose. The Earth is going to pull me back. And that's no bueno. Ow, that's my back. That was really loud. Alright, so, um, I'm fast forwarding things a little bit. Just, you know, so you don't have to wait this whole, however long this is fast forwarding. Um, You can see the moon. Yeah, so after that blue dot, the earth is going to point back into the purple. With that orange line. And, uh... Yeah, it just sucks. <laughs> but, um... As you can probably look at my rocket, I don't have anything to like land with. I have a parachute, and found out that parachutes don't don't work in space. Yeah, I know I was dumb to think that, but um, look how close that is. That is very close. It's, it's like crazy. Like, I'm still baffled that I got this close in the first place. Um, so I'm pretty much going to, like, let the moon just come towards me. And then when it gets as close as possible, I'm just going to fire close or fire towards it. And uh, hopefully, you know, my orbit or whatever will go near it. Because, like, right now I'm going to go around it. And... Since I'm facing it, I'm going to um, turn my boosters, boosters on towards it. Hopefully, you know, it changes and I kind of, you know, go at it. Alright, so. <laughs> I'm getting nervous again. Um. So at the same time, like talking to my friend about what I was trying to do, and he's trying to tell me what I should do, and I was teasing him that he didn't make it to the moon or land on the moon. So why should I listen to him? You know, just friend friendly uh, arguments uh, or friendly tease teasing, and. Uh, Um, so I was going to read like a space fact or two while this is going on. Um, so the hottest planet in our solar system is 400 degrees Celsius. Venus is the hottest planet on the solar system. It has an average surface temperature of around 450 degrees Celsius. Um, another one. 
which is kind of crazy to think. But space is completely silent. There's no atmosphere in space, which means the sound has no medium or a way to travel to be heard. Astronauts use radios to stay in communication while in space, since radio waves can still be sent and received. Sorry about that. Let's see. A full NASA spacesuit cost $12 million. There's another one for all the ladies out there. There may be a planet made of just diamonds. Pretty crazy. One day on Venus is longer than one year. Oh, I didn't know this. If two pieces of the same type of metal touch in space, they will permanently bond. And there is floating water in space. Whoa. Alright, so as you probably were watching, I'm pretty much going towards the moon now. Like, I mean, it's kind of obvious now, uh, as you can see. But if you look at the bottom, like right on the globe or the little ball, um, above it has how fast I'm going. And I'm going 1,222 meters per second, which is, I don't know off the top of my head, but really fast. And so I was telling my friend, um, I'm going to try, this is really dumb, but I'm going to try to point up. And since I have no, um, landing gear, I'm going to try to point up, or I guess away from where I'm going to hit it, and thrust away from it, and right now it's actually working, as you can see, my meters per second is slowing down, now, mind you, I'm also trying to hold out on fuel, because my liquid fuel at the bottom left is going down, and I'm not even close to um, the moon yet, to be honest, I know it looks close, but it's not, because I think it's three, uh, 3,000 meters, yeah, see, I tried to deploy the chute to catch something, and it didn't work, so, that was bad on me, so, my speed right now is 900 meters per second, and going down, uh, kind of rapidly, I'm getting closer. We're at um, 15,000 meters. And I'm at 500 meters per second. Now I'm at the surface almost. My fuel is like just a tiny bit. And there's so much G force hitting me right now. That's kind of making my fuel go down even more. So. I try to pretty much turn off my fuel or my thrusters because I'm losing fuel a lot and I'm not even close to the surface yet. So right now I'm picking speed back up a little bit. So now I'm trying to thrust and then all of a sudden engine just goes out. I ran out of fuel. So my friend tells me to jump out and I'm trying to jump out. Right. Oh wait, no. I guess I still have another fuel. I jump out, I hit space, and boom, up, and I was afraid, I was so afraid that my astronaut was going to die right here, but she landed safely, I forgot her name, uh, oh, Linty Kerman, Linty Kerman, I don't know why I did that, but Linty Kerman, is uh, sliding down a crater or a big hill on the moon and I couldn't get her up I think, she, I think you have to be completely like still in this game to like move around be able to move around yeah she was uh, 
she was just sliding, so I was, guess I was, I was like, please do not die on the way down, so I'm just, you know, sitting here waiting for her to slow down, hopefully, and she is slowing down a little bit, she's at two meters per second, which is, I don't know how fast, I don't know how fast meters per second is. I mean, in miles per hour, that's what I mean. So, she has stopped. And trying to get her up. And we have successfully landed a Kerbin on the moon. And she's doing little jumps. I'm actually controlling it until she falls. I don't know why. Pretty awesome. I look funny too, by the way. So I have successfully landed somebody on the moon. Or I got somebody to the moon. I wouldn't say landed, but look how happy she is. Oh, I was getting kind of mad because every time she kept landing, she would just fall down the side. Yeah, I freaking love this game. This game is amazing. I haven't played it since I landed on the moon, but... Um, yeah, I was playing with the camera controls, and it was did that. I thought it was pretty funny. I'm going to try to get her to roll. Or run like that, which was a bad idea. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. The and that's perspective. The how small she is. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> I sure did. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video that I make. Alrighty. So let me drop this down to three. So I guess I should probably talk about Heather Feather. Uh, that's probably why, the reason why you clicked on the video. Um, so Heather Feather was like one of the first people that I started watching. Um, like I said, with along with like Gentle Whispering and all of them. Um, pretty much everybody. I watch pretty much anybody. Um, and it's just like Heather Feather's one of the cool people because like she'll uh, she's I, I consider her a YouTuber um, but she is one of those people that you know comments back on what you say and all that she's even subscribed to this channel which is crazy um it's crazy when like people that like there's several people that I'm subscribed to and I'm like um like they'll subscribe back to me. I'm like, what? It's crazy, it just blows my mind. It's like um It's like uh it forms a friendship that I thought that would never be there, I guess. <laughs> Hope that doesn't sound weird or depressing. <laughs>